In this recording, I'm going to show you how to create an annotation symbol with an on-off parameter. So we'll start by just creating a generic annotation. And we'll get rid of this first. And then we're just going to draw whatever it is we're going to draw. And I'm going to draw just an arrow with a label on it. but Sometimes I want the, lab or the arrow to go to the right, and sometimes I want it to go to the left. So I'm just going to draw this label twice, essentially, and use a visibility parameter to tell me whether I want to see the arrow pointing west or east. So we'll go ahead and just draw our line work first. And again, on an annotation family, remember that this is plotted size. So however big you want this to be, quarter of an inch and then we'll just do our arrowhead here and I'm not paying attention to scale so you guys would want to be more accurate than I'm being right now um, now another thing you may want to consider is putting this on a subcategory um, just gives you more flexibility for turning things on and off and you can do that through the manage tab so if you go into object styles you can create a new subcategory and I don't know we'll just call it Sherry for now so whatever would make sense for the particular family that you're creating and you can change the line weight and the nice thing about this is it's very specific to this item so if I bring this into my project and I decide I want the line weight heavier or I want it red you know, I can change it without having to come back into the family just by going into either object styles if I want that global or going into visibility graphics. Okay, so let's go ahead and mirror this this way now since I want one on one side and one on the other. And then I'll add my label. sure that you change it to a text parameter and then wherever you want to group it is kind of up to you. I'll make this instance based. I'll just add this over here. Okay. And let's see. Let's do 30 seconds. Okay. And let's change the justification so that it doesn't end up in the wrong spot. So we want this on the left for this instance. We'll just go ahead and move this over. depending on how long you want it. You know, it's probably going to be pretty short, but and let's also make this transparent instead of opaque so it doesn't block out our line. Okay. And then we'll just go ahead and copy this to the other side. And of course, we need to change the justification. So we'll just move this over to where we want it. Okay, so this is our little label thing that we're going to create. And let's go ahead and change our lines to that subcategory that we used. Oops. Generic annotation. There we go. Okay. So now I want to create a parameter that tells it whether, you know, it's pointing to the right or it's pointing to the left. So I'm going to grab the stuff that I want to change. And off to the right of visible, there's a little box. So I'm going to click on that box, and I'm going to add a parameter. And we'll say text right. And I tend to group these under graphics, but it's a judgment call. And we will leave this type-based. We'll say OK, and OK. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll do text left. Okay, so once we're done with that part, we're going to go into family types and create two different family types. So we'll just say right. And I want to make sure that I toggle off the left. And then we'll do another one that is left. 
switch these around. And we'll do another one that is both. And then, of course, both of them would be toggled on. Now, you'll notice if I flip through these and hit apply, that nothing really happens in here. And it doesn't look different inside of, um, inside of the family itself. It'll change once it's in the project. So we'll go ahead and say OK. And then I'm going to do a Save As. And we'll say Anno Test. We would give it a better name, of course. And then let's go ahead and create a new project quick so that we can test it. And we'll switch windows back to our annotation and load it into our project. And I'm going to place three instances since I have three different versions of this. And then we'll just switch them and make sure that they're working. Okay. Now, one final thing, I'll go back in here. If we only wanted one that was right or left, you could add a formula that says not, you know, text right. But since I have three different variations, I can't do that in here. But if you didn't have this third one that had both, then we could definitely do that. I hope you find this helpful. One final thing I want to point out on that annotation symbol that we just created, I only have one parameter for this. So if you needed, you know, when we have the condition where it's both, if you needed these to say two different things, you'd have to go back into the family and you'd have to give one of them a different parameter. So you'd have to create a new label for one of them so that they would each read a different value.